Hello friends, in this video we will be discussing one more example on small sample test type 1 test for single mean and this will be our third problem. So let's start solving the third problem. Nine items of a sample had the following values. Nine items n is equal to 9 less than 30 small sample test they should be clear 9 items are given here their values are given here does the mean of 9 items differ significantly from assumed population mean assumed population mean that means mu is equal to 47.5 so it is quite clear from the problem that the question belong to type 1 of small sample test for single mean because 9 items are given. So you can get x bar from this. So let us start. Mu is equal to 47.5. N is equal to 9. X bar. Now friends, x bar is not mentioned here, but x bar is mean of sample, right? So mean of sample means you need to add all these values, all these values, 45, 47, 50 and so on up to 51 and you are going to divide by n, n that means 9. That means we are taking mean of these 9 terms. So that is summation of x upon n. So if you add all the values and divide by n, you will be getting 49.11. Please try this. Let's start problem. Step number one is my null hypothesis H0. As we discussed in this particular type, mu is equal to given is fixed irrespective of your problem. So mu equal to 47.5 in alternate hypothesis we have three options not equal to less or greater in this problem it is asked does mean of nine items differ significantly from assumed population mean or not so it does differ or it does not differ we are having only two options therefore it will be good not equal to and what does not equal to indicates two tail test step number three los not mentioned in the problem i am going to assume it to be five percent you can take three percent ten percent your wish next is degree of freedom and the formula is n minus 1, n is number of sample that is 9, that is 9 minus 1 which is equal to 8. So you will refer your t table this way, this side it is 8, from top it is 0 0.05 and this way you are going to get the value of t alpha. Now this is two tail test and as we discussed number of times in two tail test you are going to take the same LOS 5% you are going to take it as 5% only if it is one tail test then if it is 5% then you are going to take double the LOS now for this two tail you are going to take 5% as it is let's move on T alpha after solving from table basically you will get 2.306 Step number four is your calculation part. The main aim is to get the value of t and the formula is x bar minus mu upon s upon root of n minus 1. Now friends let us discuss what is the difference in this particular problem that was not there in the last two problems. In the first problem this s was directly mentioned. In the second problem, we need to find it out as and we use the formula sum of square of deviation from the mean and we use this formula to get the value of s. But friends, in this case, 
this sum of square of deviation is also not mentioned that also you need to calculate and as we discussed in video number one for getting sum of square of deviation from the mean we do have a formula summation of di square minus summation di the whole square upon n so this is the formula to get the value of sum of square of deviation from the mean here also there is one unknown that is di right for di we have the formula xi minus x bar and friends we have already discussed in video number one this x bar is your assume so we can assume any value but better you choose this x bar which is nearer to 49.11 that is the actual mean we got from the formula so let us start solving it let me list down the data which is given in the problem x nine data values are 45 47 50 52 48 47 49 53 and 51 so these are the nine values given in the problem so let us first of all find it out di and we know the formula for di that is xi minus x bar and this x bar you can assume so for this problem i am assuming this x bar is 48 so what you need to do is xi minus x bar these are my xi values right so that will be subtracted from x bar that is assumed that is 48 so 45 minus 48 is minus 3 this is minus 1 this is 2 this is 4 this is 0 47 minus 48 is minus 1 this is 1 this is 5 and the last one is 3 so this is the value of di that we got the next step is to find it out di square so di square is simply square of di right 9 1 4 16 0 1 1 25 and 9 so let us get the value of summation of di for summation of di you need to add this particular row so summation of di we getting is which is equal to 10 and summation di square for summation di square you need to add all these values and you will be getting after adding is 66 now friends let us find it out summation of xi minus x bar the whole square summation of xi minus x bar the whole square is equal to summation of di square minus summation of di the whole square upon n we just got summation of di square that is 66 minus summation di the whole square that is 10 square upon 9 so after solving this we'll get 54.89 let us start solving for s so s is root of summation of xi minus x bar the whole square upon n so which is equal to root of 54.89 upon n n is 9 so that is equal to square root of 6.099 so you can solve this in calci and you'll easily get the result so we are done with s let's move on to the last and the final step to get the value of t that is x bar minus mu upon s upon root of n minus 1 now friends in this case x bar was x bar means that we calculated the actual mean for finding these nine values this 48 we assumed but here in this formula this x bar is the actual mean that we got from adding summation of x upon n so that is 49.11 minus mu mu is assumed population mean that is 47.5 upon s s we just got it as root of 6.099 upon root of n minus 1 that is so t after solving we are getting as 1.84 
So this is the value of t, we got it from the formula. Let's move on to the last step that is your conclusion part. If mod t less than t alpha, accept nh and reject ah and if mod t greater than t alpha, reject nh, accept ah. Now let us check for this particular problem. Mod t that is 1.84 is less than t alpha. t alpha is 2.306. So that means accept NH and reject AH. See what exactly this means with respect to our particular problem. Mu equal to 47.5 that was my null hypothesis and mu is not equal to 47.5 that was my alternate hypothesis. So what we did in this problem is we accepted NH and we rejected AH. That means we accepting mu is equal to 47.5. So what is the conclusion? Mean of 9 items does not differ since the mean is same, right? So mean does not differ. So final conclusion is mean does not differ from assumed population mean. So that's it for this video. Thank you.